Care Yaya provides in-home health care services to families and seniors by employing local college students enrolled in medical fields. Well, with us now, we have the CEO of Care Yaya, Neil Shaw, and the Directors of Communication, Roxy Garrity. Thank you both so much for being here with us today. You started this program, you're CEO. Tell us a little bit more of why you actually decided to make it in the first place. There had to be some problems. Over one million people in North Carolina are dealing with this problem. And, you know, these people are doing care at a great personal sacrifice of their time, their energy, lost income, and often at the detriment to their own health. I actually experienced the problem firsthand. Mm -hmm. I saw my mother struggle with care for my aging grandparents at the end of their lives. And then it hit me very directly when my wife became ill with cancer and I managed her care for several years while I was working full time. And, you know, I basically realized, like, why can't you get a break? You know, there isn't anything out there to help you when you need a helping hand. Um, nowadays, there's Uber where you can get a driver. Um, there's DoorDash if you want food takeout delivery wise. And there's something really convenient where you can get a help and get a break as a caregiver. So that's how I decided on this journey to start Carry Eye. What kind of care do you provide in the homes? We mainly provide companionship care, so it's the type of care that's non-medical, but it is so important because it provides so much to these families. It helps against loneliness, fall prevention. You're going through all these different emotions. Sometimes all you want is somebody to sit there and talk with you and or your family member and be there, and that's what it sounds like you provide, which is just amazing. That's right. You know, a lot of times just people need help with meal preparation, right. taking somebody's mom and dad for a walk. You know, these are kind of activities that are daily living that any nice, caring person can do. Um, and unfortunately, there isn't really a convenient way to get this help right now. So that's what we're really providing but to people. But now there is because that's what you're doing. And you have medical students who know not only, you know, the basis of medical care if it's needed, but also are in that caring mindset to begin with. Are there other certifications that your caregivers have? Uh, many of them are also CPR certified. There are actually several of them have certified nurse aid. Um, some of them are even EMTs. You'd be surprised at what the students are getting nowadays as preparation for going to medical school or nursing school. So, you know, these are really the doctors and nurses of tomorrow that really want to give back into the community. I'm sure you've heard of Teach for America. You know, it's a program across the country where sure. people go and give back to the community for a couple of years out of college. You know, some people have told us that this is like Care for America. You know, we're taking today's aspiring healthcare professionals and putting them back into the community and helping vulnerable, lonely people who need help with care uh, as a way to pay it forward and prepare for their future careers. And just real quick, we don't have much time, but how do you keep it affordable for everybody? We talk about paying it forward. Yeah, so it's a uh, completely free resource. Um, we're backed by UNC Chapel Hill, Duke, NC State, several healthcare systems who are helping us fund it. Um, any family that needs help with care can go online and book the care for $15 an hour. They pay the student directly. Our whole organization runs on tips. If families like the service, they're welcome to leave a tip. But we built it for maximum affordability. You know, we thought that the people who need uh, help the most are often people who are struggling financially to provide care for a loved one. And if you don't get the care, health outcomes are often worse. So we want to kind of um, help solve social determinants of health and create health equity by providing the maximum affordable solution to anyone. And that definitely, that's less than a babysitter. You know that, Roxy. Absolutely. It's very affordable. These students are vetted for empathy and they are educated, which you don't find in a lot of caregivers out there. So we try to match you with whatever care that you need on our platform with the student that's willing to provide that care. Amazing service they are providing. If this sounds good to you, where do we go again for more information? It's just CareYaya.org. If you want to book, just request care now. Thank you both so much for being with us today and sharing all this. I'm sure a lot of people out there are going to take advantage of this now knowing that it's available. We appreciate you. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Explain how you also earn clinical hours by working with Care Yaya. Every hour of care that we give is uh, noted on the website um, so that when we start applying uh, for medical school or whatever we're doing afterwards, right. um, we can get like a certification um, that shows all of the hours that we um, accrued on Care Yaya, and that's a great way to, to like put that on applications and on resumes and stuff. Um, it's very nice, especially right now with how competitive it is to yeah. get into med school. Um, so every hour of care is another hour of experience that we can add to our resume. Yeah. It gives me the opportunity to meet uh, seniors in my community that I otherwise wouldn't have had the opportunity right. to meet. Um, it gives me the opportunity to serve my community um, as well as learn about the lives that they've lived and learn from that yeah. uh, and just create friendships from serving them.
It's also just great to hear from the primary caregivers of the people that we're caring for and how much it helps them on a daily basis, just get, getting a little bit of a break mm -hmm. um, for the couple hours that we're there to give them care. It just helps the whole health of the family. If you're in med school or looking to go into med school um, and you're looking for these hours, you can go to carryyaya.org slash apply. And if you are a family looking for care, then you can just go to carryyaya.org. Um, we also have a kid side of the, the platform for any Anyone who needs specialized care for their children in the realm of like people with disabilities, yeah. um, autism, Down syndrome, all of that, that's also a great experience for people going into the healthcare field, just seeing that whole wide range of patients. Um, so we also have a careyaya.org slash kids Perfect. where you can get that specialized care as well. That's so, amazing. You're, yeah. It's very well rounded over there. <laughs> yeah. Awesome guys. Well, good luck in everything that you're doing. Thank you so much for telling us your stories and everything that you're excited about. Guys, if you are interested, just go to that website that she mentioned.